Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you are warmly welcome. And guys, thanks for joining me today as I meal plan for the week. Come along and let's get started. All right, first things first, I have this notebook that I go to every single week because I have written in here amazing recipes tried and true that work so well. Starts with desserts, goes on to some continental and then some African dishes. That is where I always start. And then I also take a look at my fridge to see what I have in there. So for example, if I have leftover stew, chances are we're going to have some garifoto or some jollof just to use up the old stew. I usually just bulk it up with some vegetables to freshen it up a bit and then it is good for another meal. Now, just off the top of my head, I write down as much as I want with a variety, of course. And I also take into consideration our plans for the week. And if we need to eat out, depending on what our schedule is like, I consider all of that. And that is the reason why I plan my meals weekly. I find that when I do it monthly, it, I'm not able to account for our life so much. So doing it weekly just allows me to plan it a little bit better. And these are just good ideas for me. We don't stick to it like in a really strict manner. So if we decide on a Monday that we're going to have what we planned on a Thursday, it is totally fine as long as I have ideas to go on and then I'm able to prep some of my meals. So like base stews, seasoning chicken or meat, stuff like that. Now, typically I try to do a variety of meals every single day so that the week looks quite different. But when it comes to my son, a lot of times his breakfast is Weetabix. It is his go-to. Um, it used to be Saralac a lot, but that has changed. So I try to have variety, but if he doesn't want it, I don't force it. And for my family, most of the time on Sundays, we have lunch and dinner at my in-laws. So I never really have to plan anything much for Sundays. And I also stick to the heavier meals or the more time-consuming meals. So uh, the typical soup and fufu or omutu or banku, I stick to that on Saturdays just because I have more time to actually make it. And then if we end up having soup on the Saturday, then I know that for the following week, I will be having soup or we will be having soup as part of our meal plan for that week, just so that we can use up leftovers. And as you saw me do there, when I'm stuck, I go and take a look at my recipes. And sometimes I save recipes on my phone as well. I take a look at that just to get some inspiration to fill in the gaps that I'm not able to think of off the top of my head. But in my household, it is almost guaranteed that there is always stew because my kids love jollof. Most of the time, almost every week, we have coco. Sometimes it's just with the jollof, but there is always some ripe plantain in there somewhere. So for some of the meals, if I can make it so we have leftovers, I do that as well. And then when I am done, I now go on to my grocery list. I take a look in my fridge to see what I already have. Take the pantry, which isn't really a pantry, it's more of a cabinet. I check that as well, see what I have available. And for this week, I will really need to be stocking up on things like Milo and milk because we're out. I usually buy the whole case and then it lasts us for quite a bit. So in this case, I will be spending a lot more money because I am stocking up on a lot of these essentials, at least essentials from my household. And then when I am done with the food items, for my food budget, I also consider things like household essentials like paper towel, toothpaste, all of that goes into the same budget. So I make a list of that as well so that I can buy those items as well. And last month I started really paying attention to what I've budgeted for the week and what I'm actually spending. So I put a little corner there just so that I remember to keep track of that. It just helps me budget for the family a little bit better. 
and then I add more meal ideas if anything comes up and then I, whenever we're going to eat I end up just picking one whichever is easier or what the family wants and talking about the budget I have these envelopes here you can just use plain envelopes I stuff it with money most of the time I divide it into four so that there's money for every week and then when I am done, I just write what I've spent and if there's any left over as well. And guys, that is it. A lot of talking, but we have planned our meals for the week and I hope you try it. And I hope that it makes your life a little bit easier. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.